It's a narrowboat, precious jet. Um, nice cup of tea. Anyway, something different. We're gonna have a look at the bees today. We're gonna go into the blue hive. Um, they've been very active. I, um, I've already done the flow hive already. I'm just put the tea down. I've done the flow hive already. As you can see, I've added the top box on. Um, they were very docile today. They were very, very good, very well behaved. See the bee on the landing board there, which is a bit of orange pollen, look. Okay, so they're very good today. So what we're gonna try and do today is have a look in, in uh, have a look in and inspect the blue hive, change the bottom board. Um, because this bottom board's quite old and, and rotten. So we're gonna try and change the bottom board and uh, just have a general inspection. I know the top, they have been building wax at the top under the top cover, um, which means they might be run out of space or they just prefer to build in one area. But we'll see, we've got to go and clear it out otherwise, um, just so it's not a mess. We don't want a mess. Um, otherwise it gets very, very hard to work on them if you get a lot of cross burr comb. So let's set you up on the uh, tripod and uh, we'll see how we get on. Right, stand by. So you'll have to excuse the mess in the garden. Um, lots of things on, lots of things to do. Some things take priority over others. So right, let's get into it then. Um, yeah, smoke has gone out. We'll see how we get on because my smoke has gone out. So, In fact, I'm going to go and light it and I'll be back in a minute. Right, I have lit the smoker. Uh, don't hold much hope for it though because um, yeah, I haven't packed it very well today. I know I haven't, that's probably why it went out earlier. As soon as I stop puffing it, it's going to go out again. Get it going a bit better first. See how we get on with this. You see in the top here, they've built wax on the top here, look, which is not great. So let's just clear that off. Okay, you can see in there, look, the wax build up. And um, what they're gonna do is they're gonna build, um, that's where they're gonna put the honey or the nectar to, to put on the, to make the honey. Just put them to the side for a minute, let them find their way back into the nest. All right, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to clear all that off because that's no good there to me because um, it's gonna be in the way, so. Okay, that's one bit of wax, look. Okay. Thank you. 
Queen's been up here, look. See the cap brood there, look. So this bit down here, that's all honey. And this is all cap brood. So the Queen's been up here. So I need to be very careful. I can't put the Queen excluder below this until I 100% guarantee the Queen's not here. She's laying like a wildfire. She's really going for it, she is. So I'm not going to expose the nest today. Um, I just wanted to have a look inside. She's going. She's going ten dozen. She is. She's doing great because um, all the uh, all the cat brood up here is showing that she's really busy. She's doing a great job, you know. So this stuff here is um, artificial pollen. It's um, so if you have bad weather and the bees can't get out, they can still get pollen. Um, to feed their baby bees because they mix pollen with honey and they make what they call bee bread and uh, that's an artificial pollen that uh, the bees can eat um, so that if like I said if they can't get out they've still got food for their babies so right what I want to do is I need to change the bottom board so we're going to do that now which is going to cause a lot of issues because they don't like it when you start lifting the nest off this is the bottom board here it's uh, very very dirty and very old and very um, not great condition so we're going to change it for a new one just push them up a bit so they're not building nests where they don't have to I am getting buzzed a little bit, but not too bad at the moment. Not too bad. They aren't happy. I am going to put my um, my veil down because I don't really want to get stung on the face if I can avoid it. So.
So I'm doing very well at the moment. I've been bumped about three times, or three or four times. So they're not happy with me, but uh, they'll be locked. I'll be putting them away soon anyway. And, uh, I've nearly finished. So all these frames in the top now, we know the queen's not up here, so we know they're only ever going to have honey in them, not not baby bees.
they don't seem to want to come off that roof. Right, so there you go. Um, bit of a short hive inspection, but gives you another idea of uh, different things. All these bees flying around here that are a bit confused, they'll find their way back. Um, they'll get their way back. This hive I need to change at some point because it's getting old and you see the edge of the boxes here are getting a bit mouldy. I have got a new hive, but I've got to adapt it slightly to make it um, make it better. So, but there you go. And if you, uh, if you come around the front one, You got all the bees there. They're a bit confused because the, the entrance used to be at the bottom of the blue and now it's not, it's below the silver strip. But they'll get there, they'll find their way in. They're just a little bit confused. They'll smell the hive and they'll find their way in. See you soon. See you, bye.